What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all the reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown this channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you have not yet, feel free to go check out the God Made Podcast on all streaming platforms. Also feel free to check out Legion Assisted Living Academy and Legion Assisted Living Advisors in the links down below. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. Licensing is something that is very crucial when it comes to starting your residential assisted living home. Now, there are a couple things that need to be done prior to actually getting your home licensed by the state that you're currently in. For instance, the first thing that you will need is your property. Now, I've made videos about this topic in previous videos on this channel, so feel free to go check them out. There's a playlist regarding everything that I've done or talked about with residential assisted living uh, on a playlist. I will link it up above my head. You'll probably see it. Also, with the property comes zoning. So prior to you, once you find that certain property that you're wanting to do residential assisted living and it meets all the criteria, the next thing you want to do is check zoning for that specific property before purchasing or renting or leasing that property. Now, that is something that is very crucial before you get to this process of licensing your care home. Jumping through those hoops of getting your home and then zoning it will then come licensing. Licensing alone is probably the quickest process of all three, which is a nice thing and good news for anyone who's looking to start the residential assisted living. But it is also another thing that needs to get done before you can finally open up your doors. And licensing alone is something that I was pretty worried about in the beginning. I remember when I first started, I'm like, what is consistent of when you get licensed? What do I need to do to get licensed? What are the things that need uh, in the home? What are the, all the paperwork that I need? Uh, a lot of the paperwork that you need for licensing has to do with the application that you submit with licensing. First, that will be having your entity already set up prior to actually sending off the application. Uh, also, what you will need is the property address. Uh, you will also need your business email. You'll also need your business phone number. You will also need uh, not only that, but how many residents you are able to actually put into your facility or into your home based off of what zoning has zoned you for. So that will be another thing. Uh, if you are leasing the property, you will need that lease agreement stating that you have the approval of said landlord to actually run your business out of the home. So that is another thing that you will need to add to your list when you send the application off. Uh, once you do send off the application, there will be some other questions in there. Uh, but for the most part, those are the key things that you will need for your application. If the application isn't fully done or fully uh, approved, they will send you back the application and the things that you need to add in there and then send it back to them. Once you have the application, they have the application, once state has the application, the turnaround time, now with everything going on with the COVID and the pandemic uh, and everything else, they're still pretty quick to turn around and get it done. Within a month, you should have a date set to have your state inspection. And the state inspection is when they will come and inspect your home, inspect, inspect your policies and procedures, your paperwork, uh, such as charting, everything that they will have listed there for you to have done prior to uh, the inspection. And once the inspection is done, usually what they'll they'll actually come in and they will have you sign that you know you're getting your inspection done, and then they will either pass you or not pass you, and they'll tell you why you didn't pass and you won't get your license until you actually set another date for them to come out and reinspect your home. Once you do pass, what you will then get is you, you'll have to pay the fine, like the fees for each bed that's in your facility. Those vary depending on the state that you're in. And once you're through that process of getting inspected and getting your policies and procedures inspected and getting all your paperwork inspected, pretty much your policies and procedures is what they strictly look at. And then from there, they go ahead and tell you within a few days, go ahead, pay the fees, and you'll have your license. And then at, from that point on, once you have that approval and 
once you pass the inspection, you are then able to open up your doors. And that is a great feeling. And so that licensing aspect of it, though, is very crucial. And it's not as intimidating and as hard as a lot of people say it may be or make it out to be. It's strictly just a matter of having all the things done in a proper matter, uh, a proper manner. And so that would be having zoning done, having all your paperwork done, having your policies and procedures done, having your lease agreement, pretty much making sure you go through that application. And once you have that application completely done and they don't send it back for any type of uh, you needing to revise it or needing to change anything, you're pretty much set to go at that point. You're ready to get residents in your home and then it's just a matter of marketing and reaching out to placement agents, reaching out within the community and placing residents in your home. So the licensing though, I will say, do not overcomplicate it and do not overthink the process. It's not a process that should be really hard. Okay, I like I said in the beginning, it is probably the quickest process of all three of finding the property, of zoning the property, and then licensing the property. Out of those three things, licensing is the quickest and the most seamless out of all three of those processes. And they're, they're neat. all three of those processes are very crucial to your success, especially the first two. Those first two will either make you or break you. Licensing will not make you or break you. Yes, you may not pass it the first time, but you can always set a different date and then they'll come out and re-inspect you. It's not a problem. But if you get a bad property in a bad area and you can't do anything about that, well, you're stuck with that property. You're either going to have to lease it out or sell it. You can't really do much about that. You can't move around the house. You can't do anything. Zoning is another thing. Let's say the property meets all the criteria. It's the great fit. It's got a great yard. It's got plenty of room. It's got all the space that you need to run your residential assisted living. Let's say you get it right and you didn't check zoning. If you didn't check zoning and then you, you go out and you purchase it and you go to try to zone it, but they will not allow you because there's other care homes within the vicinity of yours. And for some reason, it doesn't meet their criteria or their regulation and they can't zone you. Well, then at that point, licensing is even, it's off the table. You can't do anything at that point without zoning. So now you're stuck with the property that, yeah, it met all the criteria and it's a great fit and it's in a great area. Well, you can't really run a business out of it if zoning doesn't allow you to. And not only that, but let's say they do zone you, but it's not for the amount of beds that you were hoping for, right? For certain, reg because of certain regulations within that zip code in that Sydney city ordinance. So that is another crucial thing that you all want to make sure. But like I said, zo licensing is by far the most simple process of it all. Uh, getting the policies and procedures, like I said, those are that's crucial to licensing. If there's one part of licensing that's very important is having those policies and procedures to the to the having those policies and procedures where you want them to be. Uh, and making sure that they are based off of the regulations that are in your state and that they're written well and that you follow those policies and procedures with the paperwork and that they coordinate perfectly. Not perfectly, but pretty close. There might be some things you may need to change in your paperwork to make sure that it goes with your policies and procedures. That is a crucial part of licensing. If those policies and procedures aren't up to code and aren't up to regulation, you're, they're not going to give you a license. So make sure that you get that done when you do the licensing. With that being said, though, I want to make sure and to repeat this again, do not overthink this process. If you're not even if you don't have a property and you don't have any type of idea of if you can zone a certain property, don't even worry about licensing at this point. Licensing is the last of these three processes. Make sure you get the property first. I, a lot of people reach out to me. And the first thing they want to talk about is policies and procedures. They don't even have a property yet. They don't even know what goes into zoning yet. They don't have any of this. They try to jump the gun and everything needs to be done in an orderly fashion. And when you do that, it's going to be a lot more easier for yourself and for you to set up your business and you do things the right way instead of trying to jump the gun. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, Make sure to hit that like button for me, smash that subscribe button for me, 
And please, as always, go watch all these other videos up here if you haven't. And again, thank you so much for all the love and support. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. God bless.